Hello everyone! Welcome back! For today's video, we're going to be making shrinky charms. And for that, we're going to need shrink paper. And then you're also going to need a design that you want. I'm going to follow these little kawaii Japanese foods that I printed out. And here's the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, so to begin, you want to lay out the piece of shrink paper, the rough side facing up and the smooth side facing down. And I'm going to use acrylic paint markers to outline each little shape that I want to do. Now, I did not create these designs. Um, these are ones that I printed off um, on the internet. So whoever created them, thank you very much. And today I'm going to be doing three designs. I'm going to be doing the dango and a little sushi roll and also a tamago sushi. So I just went through and I did the details in the black acrylic marker first. And then I went through and I added the little rosy cheeks with the red acrylic marker. So after that dries, you're going to want to make sure it dries because the next step you're going to put the colors over top. And if you don't do that correctly, then it smudges and it's really terrible. So I went through with multiple colors and made sure to try to keep it inside the lines, but you don't have to worry about the faces. You could cover right over that as long as it's dry. And for some reason, I don't know why, my green marker always looks like it's yellow in this video, but the dango does have a green bottom and the sushi has a little green avocado in there as well. And then next step is to go through and cut it out and you want to make sure to save space so that you could punch holes so that these can become charms if you want them to be charms. And for me, I don't cut them perfectly to the edge. I just kind of cut around and make sure that there's enough space so that it doesn't end up ripping the paper. And these can be really sharp, so be very careful. The plastic bits can end up really cutting you and hurting you, so be extra careful when handling them as well. Okay, and then after that is my favorite part, which is the baking, and you'll see why. It's just so cool to watch them shrink up. They are go, I think the package says about five times smaller, but I'll show you exactly um, once they're done baking. And once they're cool to the touch, you can take them out and let's see what the front looks like. They're just so adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, and here is the size comparison of what they started out and what they ended up to be. Isn't that adorable? I love it so much. Okay, and then on the back, you'll notice that the paint is still exposed. It is dry, but in order to prevent it from chipping, you're going to want to put a coat over top. I used a water-based polyurethane, but you can use resin or other things as well. Okay, and that's all three of them. So adorable. I'm probably going to end up making a necklace out of these. So that was it for this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell for more videos. See you all!